Mr. Kim Kindersley, a very dear, long-standing friend of mine, I want to welcome you to the Lazarus Initiative Symposium, and you are greatly welcome, sir. Wow, Sash, it is so exciting to be here, and I love the fractal background. I love it. That's I'm not a fractal background. I am caught in the Mandelbrot <sighs> universe. I'm in a vacuum speaking to you as a hologram, but thank you for that. Kim, um, I love equally the teddy bear look, just so you know. I'm really delighted that we get a chance finally to speak. Mm -hmm. um, now, I've known you for many, many years, um, and I met you through the sort of high celebrity echelon of Hollywood. We shall not drop names, but um, I know you from that world, and you're a, an extraordinary talent and a, an award-winning filmmaker. I remember particularly um, the film you made, Whale Dreamers, um, which was just the talk of not just the town, but the world at the time. And curiously enough, I made the connection between whales and frequencies there and what you're doing today with frequencies. What is it about Kim Kindersley and frequencies? Well, that's a really, really good question. I mean, when I was hanging out with the whale sash and making that film, we were we were doing a lot of chanting with the whales and we were going down into these sacred caves, the caves of creation in the Nullarbor. And all the ceremony was with didgeridoo, click sticks and voices. So I, although I didn't realize it at the time, I was being given frequency medicine way back then. Now, all of these years later through um, uh, really good friends like yourself, I've been made aware, like everybody is being made aware of the dangers of the 5G, the electro smog. I mean, I know myself, I can't sleep in a hotel room anywhere in the world anymore because of I'm being so bombarded. And I have so many friends who are suffering because of these things. And then when you made that movie, uh, your amazing film, then I really, really started taking it seriously. Oh, so that's interesting. Well, thank you for that piece. So you saw the 5G apocalypse, the yeah. extinction event, and, and that helped to catalyze in your mind. I mean, it was, yeah. a, it was a very circumspect sort of documentary type um, film I made. That was, you know, that was three years ago, Kim. We were calling it out, what was, what yeah. was coming down the pike. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things you don't want to believe it's true. You don't want to believe it's harmful anyway. I've now looked at all the research going back three years and mainly from, you know, literally thousands of doctors from around the world who simply say it's not safe. And then you go, well, if it's not safe, why are they instigating it? And, you know, I mean, the, the horror stories now when I'm, dri I'm driving for Europe at the moment, everywhere on every mountaintop from three years ago to now, you see a mast. And what's yep. really insidious I is just, on, on, on tour, oh. On tour here for the last two months, just touring through the country and meeting people and greeting people. And uh, same thing, what my eyes picks up is on every little hillock in, in, in the Midwest, I'm seeing these grotesque masks. I'm just like, what is it? Are we being turned into some kind of um, cyborg, AI, meta-surveilled, oh. drone-class um, subspecies? Uh, the answer is, yes, we are. We have our air, soil, and water systemically um, interceded by these mutant isotope frequencies from glyphosates, from aluminum, from phosphate, from strontium, from barium thousands of synthetic molecules raining down upon us and being embedded into the food and the water supply. And not just that, but every single product on the supermarket shelves is highly toxic mm -hmm. to biological life forms. What the proverbial bleep is going um, on? And, and so uh, because of that, I and mean, this is why I like the fact that your life and your interests and mine have intersected again after mm. or after these mm. many years now you've been involved in looking at remediation technologies for 5g as have i and we've intersected in the last uh, year or so on mm. a couple of amazing breakthrough technologies a russian one then the one with the serbian mm. uh, plasma uh, a physicist and you're now um particularly or uniquely interested in a long-standing um, group issuing out of, is it Switzerland or Germany? Well, actually, they're German. And so, look, we looked at all sorts of things. What I was really interested in finding was a group that had been doing this the longest, with the most research, with the most uh, clinical trials, with doctors who can really explain this to the public. 
And uh, for about nine months, I did this and discovered they're called Memon, and they're based in a beautiful uh, place about an hour south of Munich called Rosenheim. We live in a world full of technology that we cannot and do not want to live without. There are more and more sources of technically generated radiation. But to what extent does this technology affect our health? Worldwide studies show that radiation, electrosmog, and fine dust particles have harmful effects on humans. Continuous exposure to radiation affects cell activity, leads to cell stress, can cause sleep disorders and headaches, can damage lungs, brain, and memory. This example shows that after only 10 minutes of cell phone use, the red blood cells, which are so crucial for oxygen transport, clump together. Also, we are permanently exposed to fine dust particles, which has an immense impact on our health. In buildings, where we spend up to 90% of our time, according to studies, the fine dust pollution is often higher than outdoors. The interior power line system creates electromagnetic fields which is further intensified by the influence of high-frequency radiation from Wi-Fi and mobile communications. The artificial radiation alters the natural surface charge of air ions. Fine dust particles bound to the ions can no longer bind together to glide to the ground, but instead float around in the air. The finer the dust, the more dangerous. The small fine dust particles reach deep into our lungs and via our alveoli into the bloodstream. So, how can we live in harmony with technology? The innovative Maman technology is a result of more than four decades of research. Globally, researchers confirm that Memon is a scientific sensation. The Memon technology works similar to the sound cancellation of the noise cancelling in a cockpit. To cancel out sound, a countersound, a counter-information wave is generated that corresponds to that of the interfering sound. With Memon, all disturbing information waves are neutralized via the electric circuit in rooms. But the technical waves are preserved so that all technology can continue to be used without restriction. Memon gives ions back their natural surface charge. Fine dust particles can thus bind again, fall to the ground, and thus no longer pose a danger to our health. The result is a room climate that we only find in nature. Sleep quality, memory, concentration, and health are positively influenced. Memon provides balance and better regeneration. The basic device Memonizer Combi is available as a simple plug solution for all apartment and house sizes. As soon as the Memonizer is plugged in, the natural protective field is created. Double-blind scientific studies have shown sensational, measurable results and prove that the unique Memon technology neutralizes the negative effects of electromagnetic fields, reduces fine particles and dust in the air we breathe, and creates the optimal indoor climate that is so important for our health. Memon, renature your life. Um. They're really, really interesting people, really kind of down to earth, humble. But what's fantastic is that their products are being used by the, you know, the Austrian ski team, the Swiss ice hockey team. They're in hotels. Now you can stay in Memon certified hotels. So they're way ahead in terms of research, anyone else. And the other so, interesting thing, yeah, carry on. I was just going to say the interesting thing about them is that they also say there's not a one size fits all. They're addressing all layers of the problem, whether it's dust particles or solar panels or underfloor heating, electrosmog, EMFs, 5G, 
and on and on. Okay, so they, they, they appreciate and clearly have done for a lot longer than Johnny come lately is like you and me. They've yeah. been uh, very concerned about the mutant frequency sets bombarding our planet for two and a half decades or thereabouts, and they've been systemically working on the solution. So it's and being German Swiss in that um, arena of technological innovation, they're the cutting edge in the world by from certainly from what we've seen looking at the amazing uh, array of products. Well, look, um, are they able the, the Memon products? Are they able? Is Memon able to bring the conversation on EMF, electro smog, mm -hmm. and five G into the mainstream? once that, and for all because okay. someone needs to break that yeah. on us I, I know look they're really what i love about them actually they're bavarian they they're, they're in germany but what i love about them is that they're very grounded and they're super careful about everything that they put out and everything that they say and how they context everything and i think that's been very clever mm. because they've approached it from we have a solution for your business we have a solution to protect your family your home and from that space, now more and more people, particularly in Germany and Switzerland and increasingly in France, have accepted this as just completely normal, which in turn is accepting that these things are dangerous, which in turn is allowing them to turn up the volume and start talking about this in a more Brilliant. mainstream way. Terrific. I mean, I, also, it's, it's very, um, I'm hoping that today's, Lazarus Symposium broadcast, um, which is a seven hour um, marathon, um, is gonna do something to help also be the icebreaker here. We know we've got um, Elena Bensonoff and Alejandro Ferraris who are oh, now yeah. very famous for the soul frequency readings. I've done a number of shows with them in the last year, um, which have gone pretty viral. And they're the most extraordinary folks, but again, dealing with frequency and consciousness. Then it was David Sarita, world famous scientific genius, focused also on frequencies as it relates to the earth and the um, uh, magnetosphere and the paramagnetic powers within the inner earth and you know all of the um, ley lines and all that stuff. Professor Glenn Ryan, um, who's an icon, uh, been around for in, you know well over half a century uh, in, the, in his intellectual pursuits and, and he's um, leading figure in water, structurized water, yeah. the frequencies as it relates to water. Not forgetting this is the watery planet. It's all about water, baby. Right, exactly. So the point is, uh, Professor Glenn Ryan is going to come in from that high academic uh, perspective. And he's from the highest kind of echelon in academia. Uh, Thomas J. Brown, who is science director with our New Earth University, and uh, everyone knows our resident uh, genius. Um, we'll speak to it from a cosmological point of view to frequencies and, and all of that. Dr. Uh, Sandra Rose Michael, one of the leading uh, military intelligence connected scientists in the world today, um, based in Nevada here, also one of the commissioners, incidentally, of the ITNJ uh, on that judicial commission that we did into weaponization of the biosphere. And Dr. Sandra Rose Michael is um, a world famous innovator. Her technology is all based on fractal emissions and frequencies and what have you. And she's treated clients from royalty in the Middle East to Anthony Robbins with her, um, her, her technology solutions, which instead I did a drop, a live drop a couple of weeks ago as we were passing through Nevada, we stayed with uh, Dr. Sandra. You walk into her beautiful uh, mansion and she's got these incredible screens up which have all got these fractal codes. I mean, it's amazing. It's like walking to a Star, uh, into Star Trek um, you know, cockpit. Point is, you then sleep in the rooms which have all been set mm -hmm. up and calibrated with these frequencies. And wow, do you sleep? And this is pure oh. healing technology. Right now, she's working on Scott McKay and others on, on their tour. Bottom line is, she's also participating today in the symposium later. And so we'll doubtless speak to the subject. Patricia Corey, Jimmy Blanchett, the scientist who's making uh, a first contact with uh, uh, our uh, hyperdimensional or intradimensional, ultradimensional brothers and sisters. Let's leave it at that. Very exciting. We have one of NASA's uh, rocket scientists, um, uh, Shenaz Sony, also participating uh, today. And of course, of course, uh, a beloved mutual friend of yours and mine, uh, Simon Parks. Oh, beautiful. I wanted to just mention that what's quite interesting about the Felders, that's the name of the owners, they started the company 20 years ago with, um, I think his name is Mr. Dosho. 
and who's the inventor, a very beautiful, humble man, but it came out of a, a terminal illness diagnosis, literally months to live. And that was the kind of, uh, kind of from a hu humanist perspective, a human perspective, a desire to, to uh, ameliorate these, these damages. Right. And 20 years later, that again, they would never make these health claims because you know how difficult it is to do that in the atmosphere that we live in. However, that's where this journey started. Oh, that's, that, that's a beautiful touch. And yeah. thank you for that cameo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the biggest problem we face is the draconian overreach, statutory overreach by uh, governments and the technocracy uh, in compliances and, and all of that. So they, they draw up these ridiculous ordinances to prevent innovation getting to market for obvious reasons, because the parent corporation wishes to maintain its own hegemony over human welfare, human uh, society in terms of metadata control and manipulation, all the rest of that bullshit that we have to put up with. Uh, but I, I do see, Kim, that that is also changing, that there is mm -hmm. a sea change that we're going to be witnessing in our day, in our age, where all of that draconian nonsense of the third party intervention gets systemically dismantled and ultimately wiped out because human beings do not need to be governed by that kind of corporate sponsored, insidious um, corporate interests masquerading as government. That's the problem we've got. So yeah. executive branches of government, legislative branches of government, and dare I say it, even the judiciary are um, corralled into this form of social um, uh, malfeasance. And it's time now for humans all around the world to stand up and just brush that nonsense aside, yeah. reclaim our yeah. divine standing and move into the light. The human heart knows the way. And people are waking up to the fact that we are creating the new earth together. And it's happening. I'm seeing it in my breath work. We are getting thousands of people coming and joining together so that they can connect up with other people and starting to believe because of all the great work of people like you and many others who are bringing this all together. I'm feeling really optimistic, sir. Uh, and yes, this incidentally, let me make a bold statement here. This okay. is shameless product placement, folks. I'm rather enjoying this process. <laughs> There's a few things in life that I think are really healthy and really good for people. And I'm gonna start speaking boldly to them. We need to now start to say, hey, take that fork in the road, don't take that fork in the road. Mm -hmm. And we need to stand unashamedly and quite boldly behind innovation uh, and mitigation when it comes our way.
Kim, got to wrap this up, brother. I love you, man. Look, have a fantastic yeah. time. Well done for all the beautiful work. I love you. I love you. Love to everyone. And see you later, man. Thank you Ditto so much. Ditto that. God bless. bless you, brother. Bye now. Okay. Bye.